The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. As you guys can see, I'm no longer in the gym. I've just recently moved to a new place here in Atlanta. Um, so I finally set up my full studio. So I figured I would give you guys a full studio tour, show you guys some of the new items I have, and just let you guys see what's going on in here. Uh, before we get started though, I do wanna send a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Zounds. If you don't know what Zounds is, Zounds is a great place for musicians to get gear, especially if you're low on funds because you can get a lot of things from Zounds without a credit check. All you gotta do is set up a payment plan and boom, you can get the equipment that you need. But with no further delay, let's get right into this tour, baby. All right, guys, so we're just gonna use my cell phone to get this, it's just easier that way. All the audio is also gonna be off my cell phone too as well. Um, but let's go ahead and start over here in this corner. Um, so over here in this corner, you'll notice that I have a guitar. Um, it is a Squire Strat. I am extra doo-doo at playing the guitar, but I still practice and trying to get better. Um, over here next to that, we have the synth rack. So this is actually a Jasper synth rack. I had to order this off of Toman because they don't offer these in the US, but it's all good. It got here in like three days from the time that I ordered it. Um, the first synth I have here is my ASM Hydra synth. This was the first synthesizer that I ever got. I absolutely love this thing. It sounds great. You can do crazy stuff with sound design on this. It's just an amazing synthesizer. Um, above that, I have a Sequential Take 5. Uh, the Sequential Take 5 is also a very solid synthesizer. Uh, between these two right here, I'm not sure which one is my favorite because uh, the Take 5 is newer, um, but I probably love them both equally. They're probably my two favorite synthesizers. Um, above that, we have a Yamaha Modi X6. Um, so this synthesizer is very solid for getting like realistic tones. So I can get like pianos, guitars, all that good stuff out of here. Um, absolutely love that for that. Um, you can't beat it. Um, above that, we have the Novation Bass Station 2. Um, so this is a really good synthesizer for making bass. Um, I really needed a mono analog synthesizer. It's one of the newer synths to the collection, um, but I love this one as well. And then over there to the right, we have an Arturia Micro Freak. Very good uh, synthesizer too. Um, very good starter synthesizer. If you're looking for something to get started with, this or the Mini Freak would definitely be um, some good selections that I would choose. Um, underneath that, um, we have a guitar pedals. Um, so I have them all put on um, a little rack here. Um, so I have a few different pedals and I also have my SP404 on this rack because Honestly, I don't really make beats with the SP404. I use it more for like performance and I use it for the effects. So it's got a bunch of solid effects in it. Um, next to that, we have the blooper pedal. I've just recently got that very solid pedal. I've used it a little bit. Um, I'm already falling in love with it. Next to that, we have the M1 modulation pedal um, from Walrus Audio. It is a lo-fi pedal. I absolutely love this. That's my favorite pedal of them all. Um, you get some really nice tones with that. Um, next to that, I've got the Dreadbox Darkness. Um, so this right here is a dark reverb pedal. Um, it sounds good on some things if you're looking to make like trap beats or drill beats or stuff like that. Um, underneath that, I have two IK Multimedia pedals. Um, this X5 pedal is probably one of the most slept on pedals um, out there because it's got a bunch of different effects that you can use in there and they just all sound great. Um, next to that, I have Tone X, which is another slept on pedal. Um, this one basically emulates a whole bunch of different amps and different cab simulations and stuff like that. Um, so just very solid for your guitars. You can also use it for synthesizers and stuff like that. Underneath that, um, I have my old Mackie mixer. Um, I've had this mixer probably for about 14 years. Um, I used to use this when I did shows and all kinds of stuff, but now it works out pretty well because I can route all my synths into this. I um, mean, it makes it cool for like when I'm doing like live streams now, I can basically use all my synthesizers at the same time on a live stream. Then I can also plug the microphone into the first slot and then I leave the second slot right there for my guitars. Um, you'll see that I do have um, panels up in the background. Don't laugh because some of the panels are in boxes because I'm going to need more panels. Um, I only have six of them at the moment. 
Um, so I didn't want to commit to nailing anything into the wall until I got all my panels. So, um, you know, some of them are in boxes or whatever. It's all good. Um, underneath uh, the synth rack, um, I have a wireless mic back there. Here's a pro tip. If you want to hide your horrible cord management, just stick a box in front of it. <laughs> um, and then underneath that, I have a box full of cords that I, I use with all the synthesizers. So you see like I have, uh, you know, my guitar cords and then I have just different cords, MIDI cords, different cords so that I can uh, route the pedals and route all kinds of things in different directions. Uh, next to that, we have this reel to reel machine. So I recently just picked up this reel to reel machine on the Facebook marketplace. Um, I got it for $300. Um, and once it's fixed, because it has a few different things that needs to be done to it. Um, once I get it fixed, it's worth like 1200 bucks. So it was really a good investment, um, not only just to make music with, but also to resell on the resale market. Make sure you're checking out the marketplace for different things because you'll never know what you'll find. Um, in front of that, I have a couple old school CDs. Those are some CDs that I put out back in the day. Uh, so that's me right there. Um, and then in front of that, we have an interface. So I have the UA Volt 476. Um, I use this interface whenever I'm using my PC laptop. Um, so basically I plug all my synths and all my stuff in there and then I record into my PC laptop with that. Right here we have this brush. I know a lot of people ask people with synths, how do you keep your synths clean? Well, if you grab this brush, you can just easily brush off all the dust um, and it'll work wonders. Like this, this mixer right here was super dusty, but just using this brush, it cleaned it all the way up and got rid of all the dust. Um, underneath the vault, um, we have a Art Pro Channel preamp. I probably had this preamp for about 14 years or so. I've had it for a long time. Um, I don't really use it that much anymore. I only use it for like running synth through if I want some line noise, if I want something to sound lo-fi out, um, then I'll use it there. Um, underneath that, we have the Warm Audio WA73 preamp. I absolutely love this preamp. It makes my vocals sound super warm. Um, definitely a great 1073 um, style preamp for sure. And I've got the one with the EQs and everything on there. Um, so you can also EQ it. Super dope. Um, underneath that, very important piece to any studio, especially if you have a lot of equipment, is a power conditioner. Um, so I have the Black Lion PG2. Um, very good um, power conditioner. I mean, you can see you get your ratings on the front. It has a bunch of um, different controls on the back. And what's cool about this too as well is that it shuts off and turns everything down in sections. Um, so it doesn't just turn everything on at the same time when you power up your gear and that's nice. Um, underneath that, I just have a bunch of different notebooks. Um, notebooks are a necessity to me for whenever I have an idea. Um, all the ones in the top are just all old school raps. The ones on the bottom are all YouTube ideas and scripts and stuff like that for different ideas that I have moving forward. Um, next to that, we have my sub. So my sub is an old school KRK uh, 10S. I've had this thing probably for about eight years. I just recently got it when I went back to Nebraska. A very solid sub. I've used this for a lot more than just in the studio. I've actually used it to DJ weddings and stuff like that. And then on top of the sub, we have a Donner B1. Um, so this is an analog based synthesizer, sequencer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't really dug into it and used it much, but I am going to put together some content on this. I'm definitely going to put together content on all of these synths, um, but that one's on the way. Um, as we come up here, I do have my microphone right here. I have it on a Rode PSA-1. Um, so this thing is very nice because it moves you know, really easily. Um, and then the mic that I'm currently using is my Neumann TLM-103. Um, this was always my dream mic. I have other microphones that I use here and now, but I have been getting back to just using this one a little bit more uh, just because I absolutely love it. Um, behind that, we have my monitors. Um, so the monitors that I'm currently using are these IK Multimedia Precision 6s. Um, these things are fire. They're like probably the best monitors that I've heard. Um, I know that there are better monitors, but the monitor for monitors that I've ever used, they're by far the best monitors I've ever used. Um, behind that, we just have my MacBook locked in. Um, so as you can see, it's rolling to the computer, um, but I just have that hooked up over here on the side. So then next to the MacBook, we have this Cal Digit box. Um, this is basically my hub for the MacBook. It works seamlessly with it. It has a bunch of in and outs on the back. Um, so you can plug in everything that you need from regular USB to USB-C to Thunderbolt, all that good stuff. It all plugs in, works great with it. 
Um, underneath that, we have the interface that I use with my MacBook. Um, so this is an Apollo uh, Twin X Duo. Um, this thing is fire, definitely my favorite interface. I just can't use it with everything because it's Thunderbolt and I don't have Thunderbolt on my PC. Um, next to that, we have this FiFine mic. I use this often for streaming or to sync up my computers because when I record videos, I um, use two different computers. So it's just easy to talk in this to sync up the audio between the two computers um, with the two different mics. Um, I have this little JBL speaker right here. I use this obviously as an AB um, speaker to test out different beats or songs or stuff like that after I've mixed it. Um, I have this LG uh, 4K monitor right here. So I use this obviously um, to edit videos. And I also use this when I'm streaming or when I'm making music and all that good stuff. Um, in front of that, we have the Novation FL Key 49. Um, very solid keyboard, especially if you're an FL Studio user because you can maneuver all throughout the DAW with this keyboard. Highly recommend, if you're an FL Studio user, this is by far um, the best board that you can get because it's just fire. Um, you know, just got a regular keyboard, a mouse, bulls, mouse pad right there. Um, back here, um, I have the Arc Studio. Um, so I use this as in my room correction. And then underneath that, I have an old school Steinberg UR22, and I use that for streaming in this room. So uh, my other interfaces aren't capable to stream audio out into um, an Elgato HD 60S Plus, but that one is, so I use that. I got this stress nut right here. Um, it's the only decoration I got in the studio currently. I got that from Nam, so it's more so just a memory from Nam. I keep posted notes in a pen back here in case I ever have ideas and I just need to make some ideas real quick. Over here, you'll see that I have a camera. Um, so right here, I have a Sony a ZV-E10. Um, and then I also have another camera down here, which I need to get serviced. It's currently not working, um, but that's my. this is my favorite camera and it's a Sony A6400. Uh, next to that camera, um, I have my headphones. I use the Bayer Dynamic DT900 Pro Xs. Um, so those are what I use every day, all day. Those are my favorite headphones. I definitely rock those. I rock with Bayer Dynamic. You know, got a little SSD right here. And then next to that, I have batteries. So I have the batteries for my camera. And then I have a battery pack I can plug into in case I need extended life. Um, down here, um, you'll see I just have a camera stand. And then I have a gimbal um, so I use the gimbal sometimes when I'm getting B-roll. I'm not going to get any B-roll today. I'm just going to kind of, you know, cut through this video as I have it. Um, and then over here to the right, I have another pedal. This one just won't fit on the pedal board, um, but it is a Boss ME80. I probably use this pedal board the most because it has so many effects on it. It's got like 80 different effects and a bunch of different combinations, and you can do so much with it. I'm over here. I have a mic shield in the corner kind of hanging out. Um, and then as we look in here, uh, this is kind of like my mic locker. Um, so as you see here, um, I also have this Spear DLX. Um, it is fire. You know what I'm saying? Very good microphone. Um, I use this all the time too. I use this probably the most in the last year, but I wanted to get back to using my Neumann a little bit. Um, I have this Rode NT1. Um, this is what I started the channel with, Fire Mic 2 as well, especially if you're just starting. Um, I have this Deity Pro. Um, this is my shotgun mic, so I put this on camera sometimes if I'm doing content. And then I just have all my wireless mics and stuff down here. In the drawer underneath that, um, we have wires. So these are wires that I don't necessarily need, but they're backup wires. Um, and then I also have my headphones down here. Um, so as you'll see here, I have some Bear Dynamic DT770s. Um, I've got some AKG uh, K240s right here. Um, I've got some Sony's right here, and then I also have some Audix in this case right here. Uh, the Audix are pretty nice too. I like those the best for just listening. And then this bottom shelf right here is just instruments. As you can hear that loud noise, I don't know how loud that's going to be on camera. So I've got everything from kalimbas, the hand drums, I've got her hand uh, art right here. I've got harmonicas, I've got a ton of percussion instruments right there. I've got a hand drum, just a lot of good stuff um, to use. Um, when, you know, when you're making music, you can get some good grooves. So, um, as we turn around right here, you'll see, I've got a couch in here too, as well. So if somebody's coming in here to hang out or do music or something like that, I've got a place for them to sit. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that they can be comfortable and all that good stuff. 
Um, but we're not done. We've got one more section that we're going to check out real quick. Um, so as we come out here and we look around, we have another little studio section area. As you see here, I've got a C clamp because I want to start doing some streaming out here and stuff like that. Um, so we've just got this clamp all put in a place. Um, but as we look down here, um, I got my MPC uh, key 37 out here. Um, I've also got a record player out here. Um, I've got some IK multimedia MTMs out here, iLoud MTMs. Um, these monitors are fire as well. Um, absolutely love these. Um, I used to have um, some Atom Audio T5Vs, but I actually like these a little bit more. They're, they do cost a little more, but I absolutely love the sound you get out of these monitors. Um, over here, I have my Yamaha Seek Track. Um, so with the seat track, this is something I play with on the couch very often. I kind of wanted to put an area out here like this too, because I do like to lay down like this and just work on music, you know, and watch some TV and stuff like that. That's kind of one of the ways that, you know what I'm saying? I get it in when it comes to music over here next to the TV. Um, you'll see, I also have some records. Um, so I've got some quality records in this box right here. As you can see, I've got this Michael Jackson off the wall right here. Um, but I've just got a bunch of records I can sample, like Al Green's Greatest Hits. Um, we've got some Rick James. We've got some Marvin Gaye. Uh, we've just got a whole bunch of good stuff. We've got some Stevie Wonder. Uh, we've just got a bunch of good stuff in here. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Um, Aretha Franklin. I mean, I've got a ton of good records over here. And then the last little thing I have over here is um, I have this Arturia Mini Lab 3 right here. I keep it out here because um, I'm going to use this when I'm streaming um, and it's easier to have it in this area since I have another MIDI keyboard in the room. Got a camera for my grandpa, rest in peace. Um, you know, he used to love that camera. And then I have some headphones out here I can just grab if I need them. So I got some Shures up here. And then up at the top, we've got the Thriller and we've got the Janet Jackson. All right, guys. So that's the studio tour that I have for you guys today. I just want to make sure that I say just because you see all of these things here in my studio, it does not mean that you need to go out and buy all these things to make music or do anything like that. Um, obviously, I make YouTube content. So having all this stuff is really good for me uh, to be able to make more content for you guys. I do a lot of sound design and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So some of this stuff might be necessary for me, but that doesn't mean that it's necessary for you guys. Um, I also want to send a very special shout out to you guys. I just want to thank each and every last one of you guys that watch this channel, uh, because without you guys, this wouldn't even be possible. I keep saying it and I'll say it again, time and time again. Thank you guys. Um, I also want to add one last thing um, that I know if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, um, you guys have seen that your boy has gone through a lot, especially over the past year. Um, so if you get anything from this channel, don't take it. Don't let it be the music. Don't let it be plugins. Don't let it be gear reviews. Take that. You can literally do anything that you want to do. If you put your mind to it, you can get yourself out of any situation. As long as you try, you can put yourself wherever you want to be in this world. As long as you put forth the effort, you don't give up and you keep going and you keep pushing every single day because those bad times will pass. And then sooner or later, you will be seeing nothing but good times. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you could be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.